Hi everyone, I'm Kremlin here from the Techies, and today I'm going to show you a very useful tool in PSPAD. So, um, if you have ever designed a web page or tried to design a web page, and you want this color for an element in your page, but you can't, uh, but it's not a named color, say, or you don't know the name, or you don't know the code, you'd have to go look it up online in some database or whatever, and that's kind of annoying and time consuming. But this program, it solved that problem by building in a color selector, so it's uh, very useful. Check it out. Alright, if you can't see it, uh, pull up your left hand um, toolbar here, right click and press color selector window. There you go, it's right there. Now, in this top drop down menu here, you have a couple of uh, selections of uh, color palettes and the nine gradient types down here. 16 colors gives you your basic colors and uh, named colors is something that you could you know type in a name that's not necessarily a code so how do you insert this uh, you can't copy this but you can do something even more convenient you can just double click on the color and it appears right where your cursor is in the text so uh, let's do that with a code go to a random gradient here Say we want this really nasty color right here for some reason. I don't know, you're advertising a sewer company or whatever. Um, you select where you want to put it. In this case, it's the background of my table. Double click, and there you go. That is it right there. Um, also, it's very handy if you're repetitively using several colors, say if you're working for the sewer company, and you want to use this color over and over again, uh, you can just add it to this list of eight down here by pressing plus, and there you go. It's saved right there. And then you can easily access any colors you like, which you have saved from here, and um, insert any of them. So, yeah. It's a very useful tool, very handy. Um, I recommend it above any online tool for this, since it's just so, uh, it's, it's there. You know, you don't have to even uh, minimize the window or anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the color selector in PS Pad. Thank you. This has been Kremlin for the Techies. Oh, and don't forget to visit th3techies.com.